What's going on guys? So I'm gonna do another update on this mini mini bike build. Uh, this is going way faster than I had thought, even though it's a completely non-archetypal mini bike design. Uh, I thought it would take a little bit longer to get the kinks figured out than what it has, but I've got a really busy schedule in the next two weeks and I got, got done as much as I could today because I've got an event to go to tomorrow. Uh, but I thought this would be an awesome time to show you uh, where I'm at because it, it's, I'm almost already to a roller. So this is where I'm at now and this was the design that I had in mind all along which was to do a single side arm, it, I'm not going to call it a single sided swing arm because it's got no suspension, but it's a single side arm design. And if you want to see uh, an example of how the frame is balanced for this, uh, there's another short video on my Instagram that I had just put up a little while ago today. Uh, by the way, my Instagram is also under Guy Wilson Welding and Fabrication. So uh, the main thing with this single side design was, uh, especially, especially this wheel because it's got such a deep offset to the left, I wanted that deep dish look, is the center line of the frame for the rear for the left arm has got to be set up right with the, the rest of the weight distribution on the bike in order for it to want to sit dead straight and balanced uh, with this setup. So I had a little bit of figuring with that to do and I had a little bit more figuring because these, these 212s are notorious with the torque converter for wanting to be left side heavy. So I also had to figure out uh, engine placement and balance but right now it's it's just right so it's coming out way better than I had expected uh, somebody had mentioned on my Instagram well what about if you did a single sided fork so that this whole side would stay like this and that I'm not sure yet I've got to look into it more uh, I've never done a single-sided fork before, so I'm not, I'm not quite sure how that's going to work out or if I'll even do that. And these bars I actually fabbed up like two, I think two years ago now. Maybe it was last year, I don't remember. They were actually for something else, and I was saving them. They actually came off of that frame right there. And they took a really long time to make. And for like the last year and a half, I've been kind of deciding what to do with them and what to put them on. And then just today on a whim, I pulled that stem out of that frame that's hanging up and I just plopped it in there. And I was like, let me see. Because with uh, this seat design where that's at, those, the bars I knew were going to need a little bit of pullback anyhow so that you're not too stretched forward and I put them on there I'm like man that's it like that's the money right there so I'm gonna go ahead and run those and it'll save me more time too on this fabbing it up fabbing up a new set of bars so everything's just tacked up right now I usually do that with all my frames I usually get everything tacked up and get everything to my liking and then once it's just the way it needs to be is when I'll throw it back, strip it down, throw it back in the fixture and weld out the full thing. But I really wanted to do this. I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of Honda Ruckuses anyway, so you know how they've got that open right rear like this. And I've always thought, I'm like, man, I'm like, what if you just took basically the ass end of a ruckus and put it, you know, and then slapped the front end of a mini bike on it? So that was kind of the whole concept behind this. 
So I'm liking it so far. It was kind of tricky trying to figure out how I was going to do the seat uh, because just because of this, the way this side humps up that way and that side's got nothing. Uh, but I'm happy with the way it came out. The only thing I didn't like about it was having to miter such an extreme angle on that tube where it comes around to there. Um, if I were to do more of these frames, that would be a very time consuming thing. But other than that, I really like the way the frame flows. And from what I've seen so far, I haven't seen anything else out there like it, which that's kind of always what set me apart right from the start whenever I got going even on uh, custom bicycles a couple years ago is just doing things that are completely different than the norm. So I'm liking it so far, which I guess in the end is the only thing that really matters. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks. I'll see you later.